Seven, it's ten. Completion, completion. And ten, ten, if you add these together, adds up to twenty, which is divine judgment. This is like uh, Gabriel blowing the horn and like uh, balancing the scales on a spiritual level. It's not 5G, let's call it. That could be any G, yeah? Yeah, who's this Empress? I'm 99.9% .9 sure this Empress is you, Dr. Bill. It's like I said, you're, you're, you're more receptive than most people to give you, give you credit for. You uh, receive everybody. Like I say, everybody who, who passes through the veil has to, you have to sign off on that shit, right? Uh, Knight of Wands is... Ooh, this person's a little promiscuous, this Empress. This could be you, Dr. Beth. You could really... Oh, who that? Okay, I'm gonna ask right now. Who's who's uh, is Doctor Death the Empress? I'm thinking it is. Cause Knight of Wands, cause you have fire in your chart too, Doctor Death. Mm, that definitely looks like you. Okay, so who's this Gemini? Is this a contract? Who's this Gemini? Is this Doctor Death? Uh, this is somebody who you could be going into business with. Maybe they're gonna give you an idea. Maybe they they think a little different than you. That's the best way to find, get new ideas is hang out with people that think differently than you, right? This is one, this adds up to, this is going to be Cancerian, forward movement and gain control of your environment. That's what you need to do. Let's hook up with this Gemini. Bottom of the deck, somebody's coming in with a couple of, this could be you. Uh, what do you want to tell us about this Holy Spirit? Mm -hmm. Ooh, the truth, okay, somebody's coming in with a couple of, and the truth. So Spirit's saying there's going to be clarity on this. This adds up to two again. I'm thinking it's a high priestess. Any sign it could be. Okay, Holy Spirit, what do you want to tell Dr. Death and this fellow Scorpios? What, what should they be with? Okay, there's a period of uh, um, financial um, instability coming. So just be, be prepared for that. No more, oh, put it on and on rent, okay? Anything else? Eight of Wands. This is like quick coming in messages. Okay, where are these messages about? Slow moving night. This is slow, diligent night. This could is somebody like you. Or it could be that fucking Capricorn or Capricorn. This is um Taurus, um Leo energy, I believe, but it's not a fun, like, this is def definitely, it's Earth, right? So. Okay, what was I just clarifying? Oh, yeah, it's just, okay, so. There's somebody coming in, so this could even be me, Dr. Beth, really. Because I got Taurus high in my chart. Anything else? We gotta do one of Mary Sue's cards. King of Cups, okay, that's you. We're gonna close out with your energy. Spirit's saying, just master your feelings. That's what, that's your energy, Dr. Beth. Bottom of the deck, we've got strength. So we've got double strength again. Uh, I'm just going to grab, what was it? Where are these cards? Closest one of Mary Sue's cards here. Oh, it cuts out. It's good it hasn't cut out yet. The present moment is fucking amazing. Open your eyeball, open up your eyeballs and look around. Even if you happen to be in the shittiest of all shit times, there's probably something beautiful to notice right this very second. It could be that babies have eyelashes and how could babies get any fucking cuter than to have little baby eyelashes? Or maybe it's just that you look, took a breath and you didn't think you'd be able to do that. You did it. Amaze balls. Amaze balls. What the heck? Amaze balls. Ooh, you fucking breathed. I don't know if that's. Webster! Amaze balls. M A A M A Z E balls. Mary Sudi, you discovered that one. I'll, I'll, I'll dig more of it. Just write it down. Oh, okay. Okay, one more thing. Oh, yeah. We'll flash back to the 70s. It's 
Ooh. Okay, you just put the DeLorean back to 77 when these cards came out. Uh, and I was not even on this plane of existence yet. And you were probably bumping off like fucking hippies and disco freaks, like disco stew and shit like that. Wow, that must be funny. Okay, that's what this one. what she's got for us today. There's still time. Let's give it a shot. Just a little. Mm -hmm. Let's get two ones. Okay, split that. <clears throat> Wave of bliss. Ooh. <laughs> Kiss of Bliss. Let's see what that what number is that? 42. 42. That's my address, actually. 42. 42. High tension. Okay, that's fine. Because I have one, one 42. I guess there is. Hmm. Well, I get it now. Gotta be that one. High tension. It says fire then. 42. Wave of bliss. There we go. Harmony as the attribute of wisdom, resolution, consummation, the path of ecstasy, rebirth of the psyche. Well, you're all about rebirth after this. So. What that's water too, yeah. So that's your that's your uh, element there, Dr. Death, so. Take that in, read that in. Now that's how you should be dealing with these things. That's how you normally deal with things, I think. <clears throat> okay, let's pull one more. I just want to pull one more and just say, is there anything else Dr. Vic should be aware of? We'll pull one from the stick. Okay, it's cute. You're gonna, yeah, you're definitely getting in a love union. This is you, you're the king of cups. You're, you usually show up as a king of cups or the queen of cups. And, Princess of Cups, so you're going to be with a younger wife. Almost everybody's younger than you, Dr. Beck. Like, you've been around. I don't even know. I don't even think you know. King Cups, Princess of Cups. So this, again, is adds up to two with the two court cards. The High Priestess. So I think you have a High Priestess coming, and I think you guys will hit it off. Go there, Dr. Beck. 